On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Yes, I am doing this video from another hotel room in, tell me where I'm at, special guest, CN Tower, where could I be? Toronto, that's what I'm doing here. Anyways, um, I'm here because I'm actually in, I'm gonna be seeing a couple coaching clients in town and I'm also uh, in a two day uh, coaching program. I have a coach myself and of course, if you are taking on a coach, which is I coach other people, uh, why would you ever get coached by someone who doesn't get coaching? And so my coach is Dan Sullivan uh, through Strategic Coach, and he's got a program. It's a 10x ambition program, and I've got two-day session with him. I had the first day today. And um, one of the things that came up, and Dan teaches this, it's called your unique ability. And it's something that I wanted to share with you is because I see this happening time and time again, and I wanted to dovetail the unique ability in with the accounting firms that I work with and the people that I see suffering because it's an oppressive business model. And I was talking to all these uh, entrepreneurs in the room and they were saying, oh, Eric, what do you do? And I said, well, I give accountants their freedom back. Can you explain it to me? And I was explaining to them the new the model that we use in the accountant success formula, moving the accounting firms from the old model to this updated business model. And they're like, holy crap, that makes total sense. And business owners love it. Like the clients of accounting firms love it. And so... And, and so when we're looking at unique ability, I'll get back to the point, unique ability is that unique ability is something when you do it, it gives you more energy than you expend on it. You love to do it and people find incredible value on it. And it actually, it's really easy for you to do. And what I found when I had my accounting practice is that whenever I got sucked into doing administrative work or I was dealing with like crappy reconciliations and bank recs and bookkeeping and T1s and all this crap, all the garbage I didn't like, I was not working in my unique ability. And it's really life sucking to be cranking out tax returns and just pounding it out and thinking you're winning and you're getting ahead, which of course you're not in the you know, traditional model. I've gone over that multiple times before. But the thing is, once you get into that sweet spot, and what I found in my accounting practice is when I shifted over to the model where I was sitting around having conversations with the client about how to build their life properly, which I call the four planning pillars conversation, everything changed. I got full of energy. I, I loved being engaged with my clients. And I wasn't exhausted at the end of the day like I was when I was just banging out tax returns and crunching numbers like crazy. And that I realized now after many, many years later and meeting Dan, he talks about this unique ability. And so I would like you to think about that. Like what's your unique ability? What's that thing that you love to do, gives you more energy than you expend on it? You keep getting better and it's actually easy for you. If working with your clients on a bigger, broader base, instead of just, you know, cookie cutter, client comes in, bang out the tax return, client comes in, bang out the tax return, client comes in, bang out the tax return. Imagine if you could spend more time with the client, helping them fix the real problems in their life and then paying you double, triple, quadruple what they're paying you now on a subscription model so you never have to chase them for money ever again. That's the accountant success formula. That's the offer that I give accounting firms that are looking for it. So it's the accountant success formula is for accountants that are sick and tired of the traditional model and don't realize there's a new way. There's an updated model you can change your firm to that's going to make you way more money, attract the ideal clients, and give you free time. So there you go. And if you're in Toronto, give me a shout out because I am in your lovely city. And uh, I think the Maple Leafs are actually playing tonight. I'm not going to get a chance to go see them because uh i'm gonna go see a buddy of mine from my heavy metal band back in the uh back in the 80s yes back when i had my band in the 80s we're gonna go for dinner so anyways there you go i just want you to think about this again your unique ability are you working in it when you go to work do you feel energized or are you getting drained if you are you're getting drained and you want to fix that reach out give me a call i'd love to have a chat with you so i'm eric soul back in reminding you that when you take back control of your business model you can take back control of your life Stay tuned for more success tips to come.